This segment is sponsored by iCairo Clinics. As the seasons change and you start thinking about all those warm weather activities you love, make sure you ease into a more active lifestyle in order to avoid injury. Dr. Michael Quast is here from iCairo Clinics with advice for when your range of motion is affected by months of inactivity. Although I think the inactivity is one thing, you may be seeing a lot of slip and slide injuries after all this icy weekend. Yes, for sure. <laughs> you know, you see people get hurt from slipping and falling on shoveling, especially this wet, heavy Ooh. snow that we have. Um, when you're not in shape for that, not in condition for that, and then you start to scoop these big, heavy things and you yeah. bend and, and twist. Bending and twisting is the best way to hurt yourself. So it's better to push and not twist, okay. not lift, just push. Or just uh, wait for better. the sun to do its job. Yeah. Eventually, uh, hire Illinois. a snow plower. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but truly, uh, after a winter of inactivity, people are more susceptible to injury, and you can you you test for that, right? Yeah. So it's interesting. You know, somebody who has limited range of motion, meaning you can't bend and move fully without either discomfort or pain or even just restriction, those people are always at higher risk of having an injury because when they go to try to do that movement it already doesn't work. And then they kind of do that and then boom, they're hurt. Mm -hmm. And it's the last straw on the camel's back idea. So it's always good to try to loosen up uh, before you do those things, obviously to stay in shape and that's easier said than done sometimes. But yeah. um, we have a lot of stretches on our website that can help for people who are trying to do things uh, without having an injury. And then also by being checked out regularly, you can actually find problems and nip them in, in the bud and actually prevent an injury. So what kinds of things do you do to to look at them and see if they're you know sort of susceptible to that? Yeah so one of the first things is just simple range of motion you know if somebody can't do a range of motion meaning how far you can bend how far you can move and turn um, like how far you can turn your head those are ranges of motion every joint has a range of motion that it mm -hmm. can go through meaning how far you can bend it and what's normal yeah. and if you see restrictions in that then you know that that person is at higher risk of having a problem and then you address it from there in terms of helping them regain full mobility, I'm guessing. Yeah, so the whole idea then is to restore that motion. So if we take a person and say we take, you know, we were to take a person today and clone them and have two of them, and one of them has a reduced range of motion and the other one has the same, they're the clones. And one of them we work on and restore that range of motion and get it working gut. The other one, we just say, uh, just take Tylenol if anything bothers you. And then look at the two's functional abilities over time. The one that we're working on is gonna not only be more mobile, more active, have fewer injuries, have fewer problems. The one who's just masking how they feel with pills is gonna have all kinds of problems and need more and more and more pills and have a lower quality of life, have more problems. Um, and it's just the best thing to do is keep your mobility. And then when you age, as you get older, you still have good function and mobility and can do all the things you want to do and have a good quality of life. We've talked before beyond quality of life. It's kind of dangerous. You talk about just driving a vehicle without a full range of motion. This is it's dangerous. Yeah, we see, unfortunately, a lot of times, you know, when you're driving and then you go to do a head check, people who can't turn their head can't see. And so then they just go over and, you know, accidents can happen. And, you know, it's just not good. Mm -hmm. Well, if you would like to make an appointment at iCairo Clinics, call one of their four locations or visit their website. We've put all their contact information on our site. Just go to WZZM13.com. You'll find it there. Good to see you, Dr. Quast. You too. Thanks.